the speed of a train is increased by 20 percentage it take 20 minutes less to cover the same distance what is the time taken to cover the same distance with the actual speed here distance is constant that means speed is inversely proportional to time when the, whenever distance is constant take the speed ratio and time ratio here speed of train is increased by 20 percentage increased by 20 percentage is equal to 20 plus 100 that is 120 percentage 120 percentage is equal to 120 by 100 if you take the ratio 20 into 6 is equal to 120 20 into 5 is equal to 100 so 6 by 5 is the speed ratio speed ratio means new speed divided by actual speed that is equal to 6 by 5 that is here actual speed is equal to 5 part when it is increased by 20 percentage it will become 6 part so here time ratio will become new time divided by actual time that is equal to reverse of the speed ratio that is 5 by 6. So actual time will become 6 part, new time will become 5 part. So difference between 5 part and 6 part is equal to 1 part. So ratio difference, ratio time difference is equal to 1 part but the actual time difference in the question is 20 minutes because when speed is increased by 20 percent it takes 20 minutes less to cover the same distance. That means actual time difference is 20 minutes. So 1 part is equal to 20 minutes. Ratio difference will become actual difference. 1 part is equal to 20 minutes means 6 part is equal to 6 into 20, 120 minute. Here, we have to find out the actual time. Actual time is equal to 6 part. So, 6 part is equal to 6 into 20, 120 minute. New time is equal to 5 into 20, 100 minute. But here, we need to find out the time taken to cover the same distance with the actual speed. So, with the actual speed, actual time will become 6 part. So, that is equal to 120 minutes is equal to 2 hours. So, option A is your answer.